construct a polygon of given side 50 mm by general method so here we need to construct a polygon whether it may be a square whether it may be a pentagon hexagon or octagon the two this is one of the important method they will try to term a, it as generalized method and we are trying to use drafter drawing sheet compass scales for drawing this one so first of all let me go through into the, into the into this one so we need to draw a line of 50 mm length because we are having the polygon of a side of 50 mm so i am going to draw a line of 50 mm so that is the first point okay so after drawing the line next i have to draw a line perpendicular at b point which should be exactly equal to the length of ab so i will draw a perpendicular line i will term it as a and p and this is a construction line we have to make the pencil as 2h pencil because the construction line should be very light as possible next draw a line joining from a to p so i am going to join the line from a to p with the help of a drafter by taking two points from this point to this point i am going to join a line next with center b this particular center and radius equal to this length ab length i am going to draw a quadrant called as a p i am drawing going to draw a quadrant called as a p and this ap line is also a construction line after drawing this quad quadrant so drawing a perpendicular bisector for ab so how to draw a perpendicular bisector basically perpendicular bisectors means for a particular line the perpendicular bisector will be exactly at the center if i try to apply the concept of dividing the line into two equal parts that will become a perpendicular bisector for ab so take length more than half okay and try to make a division then you will get a perpendicular bisector at the center how this perpendicular bisector is going to be touch the point ap at 4 as well as the quadrant ap at 6 so generally 4 and 6 is a, is a simple case where i am trying to choose it for for square it will have 4 for hexagon it will have 6 that's why and we can able to locate the midpoint the midpoint also okay and i will term that one as 5 so the distance from 4 to 5 is equal to the distance from 5 to 6 since 5 is a midpoint of this perpendicular bisector line from 4 to 6 that's why so next after making this one we need to we need to take suppose my objective is to draw a pentagon so i will take the radius from a to 5 okay and from the radius a to 5 i am going to draw a circle like this okay so with the radius a to 5 draw a circle after right drawing the circle now with the center b and radius as ab cut an arc on the circle a small arc on the circle and try to turn that point as c similarly with the center c and radius ab cut an arc at d similarly with d as a center and radius ab cut an arc called as e so now we have got five points a b c d e so our objective is to draw a pentagon by using a general method so as we have have a line from a to b next thing is join a line from b to c connecting a line from b to c take a drafter place it on the uh, rear to the point b and near to the point c connect the line then again place the drafter from c to d and connect the line again from d to e again from e to a so now we can able to see a b c d e as a regular pentagon this is the method which we are going to be term it as a general method okay suppose we need to draw a square 
we will consider 4 a as a radius and we will try to draw a circle and remaining sides construction it is similar procedure 